Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 3 of DS. In the last episode, we charged our way through not only Kazuchi's Chirin Arcanum, but also Akinari's Sun Arcanum. And honestly, I think Akinari is definitely fit the bill for being one of the saddest Arcanas for the actual ending of it. Because, out of everything we've done with him, he ended up passing away on the final Arcanum, literally fading out of existence. And honestly, yeah, that's definitely the most depressing, uh, like, literal Arcana social link that's been in a Persona game, due to the fact that it's, I've seen all the social links for the most part, other than the ones in Royal, so... Yeah, definitely, um, did not expect that to happen, making two people we ended up losing in our story, technically, with Shinjiro and now Akinari. So, with that being said, today will be the next full moon operation. Quote unquote is going to be the ne or the final full moon operation, which I doubt is going to be the case due to the fact that it's, um we still have yet to be um at the top of the Tartarus, and I feel like that would be the final full moon operation I would think, and we still have yet to run into Strega as well. So I have a feeling that there's more than likely at least one more left after this, but for sure we will be taking on the final of the full moon arcanas which will more than likely be the Hanged Man, based on our deductions from the last episode. So, with that being said, tonight the moon will be full. A powerful shadow will appear. The final battle is nearly upon you. You decide to stay home today and conserve your strength. And with that, we're officially on the, technically, what you would say would be the final for the actual full moon arcanas. So let's finally take out the major arcanas once and for all, since, honestly... With a one-on-one -on -one battle, I have a feeling it's going to be probably kind of like the Hermit, where it's supposedly going to be stronger than the rest. So, I guess we'll find out. Oh, I found it. It's clearly at the south end of the Moonlight Bridge. Um, the twelfth and final shadow. Okay, and there's our proof. Hmm, this is it. Um, and as we expected, there are two Persona users nearby. It's Stregan. Oh, okay, so Strega is going to try and stop us. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder what they're going to try. Um, they know this is their last chance. Even though we were expecting this, we should still be careful. True, we definitely should. Um, those bastards. <laughs> Jeez, Ken. <laughs> For a kid his age, I actually didn't expect him to say that, to be honest. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny, though. Huh, saves us trouble looking for him. True, actually. Um, you've all done a fine job to this point. This will be our last operation. Let's all come back safely. True, no more casualties. The final battle is here. The last shadow and Strega await you. Strategy weighs heavily on your mind as you prepare to select your allies. And I have who I wanted to use for today. I actually wrote it down just in case because I wanted to make sure that we're using everyone that hasn't really been used yet, and also for people that haven't really got to fight in a while. So, based on what I wrote down, I wrote down Mitsuru, and the reason is because is Mitsuru doesn't get to go to fight as often. She has been in a lot of the full moon operations, but honestly, I kind of feel bad she hasn't been in as many as she should, because she's actually a really good character. It's just that um, I end up choosing other characters on accident. The second one is actually going to be Akihiko, and the reason why is, although he is in a lot of these, the reason why I want to use him is he's actually the best unit on our team, in my opinion, due to the fact that he can debuff enemies and stuff like that, and I actually really like that. Um, I don't care how many of them there are, I'll finish them off today. Yeah, sure, make sure to join me. Leave it up to me. Yeah, of course. And then the final one was Koromaru. So, let's bring Koromaru with us. And he just says woof, so welcome to the team, Koro. And then I actually forgot to read Mitsuru's. Um, there's no time, let's go. Okay, and with that, um, honestly, we never see Shuji. I did not mean to click Yukari, but actually we never see Shuji, so I honestly wonder what he's gonna say. Hmm, today is the day. Please be careful. Yeah, and with that, I believe we're fully careful for today. Um, are you ready? Yes, I think we are, so let's commence operation. Um, well then, we should get going. Yeah, we should. We definitely, definitely should. Hmm, okay. Be careful. 
Yeah, be careful indeed. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's go indeed. The Moonlight Bridge. Have we ever been there? Honestly, I don't know. The final battle has arrived at last. But first, there are two powerful adversaries you must contend with. Moonlight Bridge, South End. Oh, we're actually going to contend with, with Stragar right now. Really? So it's going to be probably two boss fights. That's interesting. Hmm. You know the significance of today, do you not? You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disasters they bring. Yet countless lives are lost each day without their intervention. Hmm. The power we wield, it is not itself evil. You cannot deny that. But you are evil, though, that's the thing. So why don't you just admit it? You do not wish to eliminate the Dark Hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves. Um, that's not true. If <laughs> we could say who cares. I love that there's, like, um, ones that you can just say, I just don't care what's going on. I actually really like that. Look within yourselves, and you shall see. See what? The truth of everything? Because honestly, the truth's standing right in front of us. You're evil, and we're gonna get rid of you for once and for all. If it's through throwing you in prison or whatever we end up doing with you, you definitely deserve what's coming to you. You are indeed foolish children. Erasing the Dark Owl is the same as erasing yourselves. Hmm, is even that beyond your comprehension? As I believed, all goals are irreconcilable. Hmm, if you say so. Jin. Uh, forget these maggots. I'm gonna change his voice, cause, um, originally, um, I was gonna do Shinjiro's voice with him, but then Shinjiro and Jin ran into each other, so then I ended up changing that. But since Shinjiro is no longer around, we'll use Shinjiro's voice now for Jin, since that's honestly who I was originally gonna, or what voice I was originally gonna go with Jin, honestly, cause I wouldn't knock Ego to have his own, sp um, own voice when it came to the villains and the characters and everything like that. Fate shall decide who will prevail. Come on. Come on indeed. Ooh, that's the first time I've seen that. That's cool. So with that, we're officially fighting off with Strega for the first time. And maybe even the last, honestly. I honestly don't know. But it's still cool that we're actually fighting them. Honestly, I'm surprised that, um, you know, we never ended up fighting off with Chidori either, which ended up being, which in, in a way is actually a good thing. But yeah, it would have been cool to see Media in a fight. But honestly, I hope we get to see their personas, because, you know, they have personas and we have yet to actually see them. So honestly, let's do an attack up with our giant rainbow gummy worm that I really like to use. Honestly, I really like that persona. It's, um, I believe its name is Yanagarasu. And on, or, yeah, no, you're Lunger. No, you're Lunger. And honestly, it's one of my favorite ones because of the model itself. Okay, and the reason why we used Akihiko is because of Marakunda. And honestly, I wanted to see Caesar again, because honestly, I actually really like that persona, to be completely honest. Okay, so now that we have an attack up and they have a de defense down, let's go for Jin first. Because then we can get rid of the Lackey first before the actual... Oh, okay, so they actually reflect fire, good to know. Now you shall be judged. Bufudine. Okay, so he uses ice. Ooh, that's creepy looking. Okay, interesting persona. So he uses ice and electric magic. Good to know. What about Jin? Oh, there's no quick cure for stupidity. True. Mudo. Uh-oh, that could be bad. And what the heck is that? They have some weird looking personas. And you missed. <laughs> Light chance of hitting me with that and you missed completely. Good job on you, buddy. Okay, so let's go for Mabufu Dine since this is actually heavy ice magic on everybody. So let's see if how much damage. Ooh, okay. Mm, almost 900 because of basically. That's basically like a charge at this point due to them having no defense and us having an attack up. So actually, yeah, they got completely wiped right there for a second there. And the only reason why we do that much damage is because our main character is actually a lot higher in level than everyone else on our team. And that's because we've been swapping out characters like willy-nilly because I wanted to make sure every character had a chance. So honestly, if you guys are wondering, our character is like level 70, like 5, and then the rest of our team's like 50-ish. 
So, yeah, our character is definitely higher than he should possibly be at this point, because yeah, we definitely use a lot of characters, so it requires a lot more training than you normally would have at this point. So, honestly, I- oh wait, no, he reflexed that. I completely forgot. I would have noticed that if I would have, um, scanned him. It's fine. Hmm. So this is the power of those whose personas awaken naturally. Naturally, you say? Wait, so your personas were awakened unnaturally? I guess that would make sense based on, like, how weird their personas are. Oh shit, these guys are tougher than I thought. <laughs> Definitely so. Oh, he's going for Moodoon, which is, um, honestly, medium damage when it comes to one-shotting. Thankfully, he missed twice. Because that could have been really bad. But one Mubufu dying should get rid of both Jin and Takaya here. So down goes Strega for now. And then probably we'll run into him again after this. Because I don't think this would be like the end of them. Oh, Jin's actually still up. Okay, let's just stab him in the stomach with our um, little, <laughs> little one-handed straight sword and knock him right on out. And just like that, down goes Strega. That's what they get for taking out Shinjiro, honestly. See, basically level 70. I was right. So, 71, got a good decent amount of stuff, HP and SP is always nice. We don't get any stat increases or anything, all it is is like just that, basically. And then your longer leveled up as well, which it looks like we're getting some Arkarn, which is actually really good, because I actually didn't have that before, so honestly I'll take that since that'll allow us to revive some people. Okay, honestly I don't think I'll need growth, so we can get rid of that since this is basically my main one at the moment. And then Repel Light. Um, although I like Repel Light, I don't think I really want it. Because, honestly, we have some decent things here. And all of this actually kind of works together, since we have Marakunda for decreasing, and we also have Attack Up for Moderate Kaja. And then I like the ability to heal someone fully, and then revive somebody fully. And then the Heavy Wind Damage and the Heavy Ice Damage is really nice as well, increased with the... Greatly increased ice attacks is actually not bad at all, so... Although Repel Light would be nice, I think it's probably for the best we don't get it. Just in case, because I actually really like that build that we have at the moment. So, how do you like that, Strega? You lost. How do you feel about that? This is what you get for taking out Shinjiro, honestly. Ah, uh, damn it. Is their power that different than ours? Yeah, it is. Um, different. Yeah, they were saying that our personas are different than theirs. Uh, for us, it's not that simple. It has to be forced out. Didn't your pal tell you? No, not at all. So Shinjiro knew. Huh, so it was you who was giving uh, Shinji those pills. Yeah, they were. They were giving him those capsules that apparently make you die faster based on what it says. Huh, you guys don't have the slightest clue. What will happen if the Dark Hour disappears, do ya? Nope, not at all, honestly. But apparently they do. It won't matter for normal people, since they don't uh, remember anything anyways. But for us... Hmm? But for us, what? That's enough. Oh, Takaya's... Oh, okay. Actually, look at that. Takaya just gave up. Huh. So I guess we passed a trial or something? Honestly, I don't know at this point. Now then, ordinarily we'd withdrawn, but not tonight. Huh? Oh no, not again, please. This body, as ephemeral as it is, it is worthless without my power. Oh, uh, please don't do that. Therefore, only one choice remains. I shall prove my existence here and now. Yeah, and please don't do that. We know that's a real gun, so no playing Russian roulette, bud. What are you doing? Uh, don't be reckless. Jin. Uh, sorry. But those are your words, not mine. Oh. Huh, okay. You win. Looks like you'll get your wish. Go on and do what you came for. Hmm. Okay. Um, wait. I'd rather die than surrender to you. Take a good look, this is how we live. On the edge, apparently. Huh. I don't think they're dead, though. Because that's literally just water below them. Or, well, it's blood red water, but it definitely is just uh, basically a sea, so I think we'll see them again. 
Jin and Takaya disappeared into the blood red sea below. Yeah, they did. Honestly, I do wonder if, um, swimming in that is even okay, because honestly, is there even underwater shadows, to be honest? We've never actually, like, checked, to be honest, so, hmm, I honestly, I wouldn't even go in that water, to be honest. Um, they jumped. Yeah, they did. Completely backwards, too. <laughs> so they went, like, basically backflipped into the ocean, which is actually kind of cool in a way, but well, honestly still scary, since, yeah, I don't think they died from that. Um, what the hell were they thinking? Um, good question. Uh, they chose their fate. Uh, don't let it face you. Yeah, we'll be fine. And they'll probably be too. Like, it's not that far of a fall, it seems. Um, the operation has only begun. Our true adversary is waiting. Focus on that, alright? True. We still have yet to actually fight off with the hanged man yet. So, honestly, let's see what he looks like, since we know it's going to be the hangman. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely the hangman. He's hanging off some kind of, like, helicopter pillar thing, like a marionette. It's actually kind of cool, honestly. Um, the shadow up ahead is not moving at the moment. It'll all be over if you can defeat it. True. So... With that being said, honestly, I want to see what Mitsuru has to say about this, and then Aegis, and then we'll run off. Um, it was a long journey to get to this point. Um, true. Definitely true. What about Aegis? If we defeat this one, it will all be over. True. Apparently so, but I honestly feel like there's much, much more that we still have yet to see. Um, now's the time. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we're fully ready for whatever's gonna happen here. Honestly, I don't know what kind of moveset the Hangman Arcana would have, or whatever the statues in front of us would have, but it's, yeah, definitely, um, don't know if we're, like, I don't know how strong these guys are gonna be. And also his head's on backwards, I just noticed that, because right here, if you, on the back of his neck is actually his throat, where his, um, you know, Adam's apple is. That's interesting. So his head's like this. That's kind of gross, but... And also his skin's kind of pierced into the... Ugh. That's actually really, um... Creepy. <laughs> okay, then. Now that we actually have a good look at it, that's actually really nasty and gross. But it's actually kind of cool in like a dark, demented way. Um, this is it. I'll do everything in my power to help you, just pray, promise that you will be okay, be careful. Yeah, we'll be, definitely be careful, but, yeah, how strong would the final one be, honestly? After having a boss fight like that, I don't think, um, you know, I don't think they would make this guy as hard as possible, honestly. I think he would be on par with Strega, because I don't think they would have you fight two very strong things after each other. Um, I think that floating thing is your main target, but it's, it's out of your attack range. Um, give me a moment, minute, and I'll see what I can find out. Okay, so first things first is just get rid of the shadows. I'll have her start looking into that. Honestly, we already know what we should do is by getting our strength up and their defense down. So honestly, get the gummy worm ready to rumble, honestly, and then I guess we see what happens here. Okay. So, first things first. Ooh, we have Mind Charge now. Ooh, thanks, game. Um, hmm. Honestly, I think we should do damage right away just to figure out what they're weak to and see if they reflect anything. One of them blocks Ice Magic, and that's the middle one. Okay, good to know. That guy's starting to fall down, so it is seems like you do need to get rid of the actual shadows. Okay, so we'll try Ziodine here since, honestly, we might be able to get rid of that. And then we'll see from there what happens once you get the statues out of the way. Okay. Okay, so the statues force him down. So they're basically, like, forcing him up, basically. Okay, that's interesting. I've been waiting for this. And, honestly, I have a feeling this might end up getting rid of this guy, since all out attacks in this game are actually a lot stronger than they ever were in Persona 4, honestly. Still, so, he actually survived. I actually did not expect that. Hmm. Okay, then. Wait, does he have two faces? Okay, so that was the back of his neck, because he also has a face on the bottom of his head as well, where his head normally would be. Huh. Interesting. Okay, then. 
And then we can just probably go for Aggie Dine here since this guy is on the floor. So we have a free hit on him now. And down goes the Hangman. Unless it get, gets like extra hits here, but honestly, I don't know. Seems like we got him though. So there we go. The final of the Major Arcana is finally fin fully done with. And level 75 to finish it off. Not bad. I'll take that since we can make some pretty cool stuff the higher level we get. And your Lunger also got to level 73, which is always nice to see. Okay. Hmm. So, what now? Since, you know, all the Major Arcanas are now gone. But Dark Hour seems to still be around, based on that. Um. Hmm. Um, indeed. Um, is it over? I don't think so. Operation completed. Or should I say, mission complete. Uh. I don't think it is. Yes, it's finally over. True? Um, I believe a celebration is in order. What will be our victory cheer? Um, hip hip hooray. <laughs> I think that definitely works. One, two, three, hip hip hooray. <laughs> I actually didn't expect Aegis to say that, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> what was that? Sounded like a victory cheer to me. Um, so, um, senpai. Uh, you're gonna throw us a party or so uh, tomorrow, right? Um, are you? Um, you don't waste any time, do you? Well, I suppose I could have arranged for it. Hmm, well, that sounds like fun. Um, ooh, in that case, how about, um, sh sushi? Ooh, that sounds pretty good, actually. Last time I've had sushi was, like, a year ago. I'll definitely take some sushi right about now, to be honest, in, like, actual IRL. I definitely want some now, just because I'm bringing it up. Thanks, game. Ah, uh, sushi, huh? It's been a while. Well, I've got dibs on the halibut and sea urchin. Sea urchin? Ugh. Why would you want to eat that? Um, oh, then I call the fatty tuna. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that reminded me of Persona 5 with um, Morgana. Because Morgana always wanted the fatty tuna in the sushi things. And then it took him like... um. I think it was like three different sushi trips in order to actually finally get his tuna. And I still feel bad about that. Because honestly, Morgana like makes you feel as um, much of how bad that he's going through. He'll he'll definitely go out of his way to let you know, hey, I want this to if I want this to happen and I can't get it, basically. <laughs> I don't know why that made me think of him, but it's just because of the fatty tuna in general. Because that's a lie like something he said like almost constantly. Um, we're tipping it up already? In that case, save some salmon row. Okay. Salmon row? I've never had... Well, I've had salmon, but I don't know what um, salmon row is. Um, hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. Yeah, why are we dividing it up already? Um, I reserve this shrimp, squid, scallops, and sea eel. Wait, can you even eat? Um, hey, that's not fair. You don't even eat. True. <laughs> She's a robot. She doesn't even have a stomach. So, why is she dividing some for herself? Hi, uh, you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Fight over sushi. Um, senpai, please order Tamango for me. They say you can tell a chef's skill by how he prepares eggs. Oh, hmm, interesting. I've never heard of Tamago before. That's cool, though. It seems like um, Ken knows his, um, knows his way around the kitchen a little bit. It's actually kind of cool. Um, how old are you again? Well, honestly, he acts pretty, um, a lot older than he actually is, to be honest, based on a lot of his interactions. Um, okay, okay. I'll have the very best delivery tomorrow. Cool. Um, for real? Oh man. It's gonna be, uh, great to be alive. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Um, don't get too excited, Junpei. You're getting the leftovers. Uh-uh. Poor Junpei. Um, what? But it was my idea in the first place. True. <laughs> hey, we actually get to hear the characters' voices for once, <laughs> other than just a cutscene. That's actually nice to see. Um, I guess it's time to say goodbye to Dark Hour. Even though it seemed like a curse, for some reason I'm reluctant to let it go. Well, because, honestly, it's pretty fun fighting the shadows and everything, to be honest. Um, yeah. True. And honestly, yeah, I would be reluctant after all this, but... It's for the better of humanity, honestly, getting rid of this thing. Um, we really did it, didn't we? Um, yes. We saved the world, even if no one knows it. If you say so. 
it's still around. You'd think it would just go away after the final shadow, right? I, I don't understand why they don't notice that. Because I noticed that right away. Because the, the Dark Hour would disappear immediately, including the Tartarus, if the Dark Hour is going to go away once the final shadow is gone. And that was just like a guess, honestly, based on everything we've done. So I don't know why they think it's going to be over just because we got rid of the biggest shadow that we fought for a while, honestly. So, interesting. The battle is over. The Dark Hour has come to an end. Okay, in 211-4, like promised, Pharos did say he would meet us after everything was over with the Major Arcana, so let's see what's going on with him, since he did promise he would show up again. Um, good morning. This is the first time we've talked during the daytime. True. So, wait, how are you even here? Usually he only shows up during the Dark Hour. That's interesting. Why during the day? Um, nice weather, isn't it? This is indeed a new day. For both of us. Hmm, if you say so. Um, all the fragments of my memory, they finally come together. Um, I know my role clearly. Hmm? Uh, the time has come. Um, as difficult as it may be, I must tell you something. I'm afraid this is goodbye. I want you to know, for me, our friendship was a miracle. But miracles don't last forever. Um, if only they did. Hmm? Yeah, there is no forever, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I think. Um, I shall tre treasure our conversations as always. Even if today is the end, the bond between us can never be severed. Um, remember that. Hmm, okay. Um, it was fun while it lasted. Um, farewell. Farewell? Interesting. So this is going to be the last time we see Pharaohs based on what he just said. A mysterious voice rings in your head. And apparently he has all his memories now? That's interesting, so... Because he said that he was getting his memories back, and it took getting rid of all the full moon arcanas in order to get his memories back. That's interesting. So they're holding his memories inside them, basically. Unless it's just coincidence, but that is weird. Thou art I, and I am thou. The bond thou has nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Death Arcana has now been set free. We bestow upon you the ability to create Thanatos, the ultimate form of the Death Arcana. That's interesting. Wait. But we saw Thanatos at the very beginning of the game. Why does Pharos give you the ability to make Thanatos? Interesting, because it's part of Orpheus, basically. And we know that because of the fact that Orpheus turned into Thanatos during that cutscene. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if there's a meaning behind that or not. There probably is. Which, but the thing is, this pharaoh says we'll never see him again. Huh. The mysterious boy social link has reached its maximum level. You have now mastered the mysterious boy social link. Your power to create personas of the Death Arcana has now reached its maximum level. You have forged a bond that cannot be broken. And with that, one of our story-based Arcanas is now officially done. Since the Death Social Link is at its maximum level, you can now fuse Thanatos, the Bringer of Death. Basically, basically the Grim Reaper, even though the Reaper still exists. But definitely cool. I can't wait to make that, honestly. And honestly, I have a feeling there's... Yep, there was. So, let's see what's going on with Junpei. Hey, Junpei, long time no see. Um, yo, Spooks, is your stomach ready? Uh, tonight's a big celebration. I'm gonna eat like there's no tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm ready. It's just sushi. <laughs> that is a bad answer, no matter what you say, because sushi is great. So, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready indeed. Um, me too. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. You better come back right after school. Man, I'll be waiting. <laughs> He's saving his stomach up for all the sushi you can eat for an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> Good on you, Junpei. That's exactly how you should do it, honestly. Okay, I just skipped the little school thing, because basically we just went to school and it just said, hey, you just head back to the dorm, so I just skipped over that for you guys, since, honestly, it's kind of, um, not really needed, because you kind of expect that you're just gonna leave after school every anyway, so, honestly, you could have just went from the school and then faded into this anyway, so I saved you guys a little bit of time there. Um, whoa, nice bread. Yeah, it definitely looks good. We got three whole pl big huge bowls slash plates of sushi. That's pretty good. And then some kind of like 
cake of some sort? I don't even know what that is. But it looks kind of cool, I guess. It's like caramel or something. Um, these slices are huge. Yeah, they're pretty big. Um, man, I'm starving. Can we eat? <laughs> He's been saving his stomach up for this. Um, hey, where are Aegis-san and upisuki san True. Yeah, where is Aegis and Shuji? Um, you do get to the lab for a tune-up or something. He said they'll join us later. Hmm, okay. He <laughs> the chairman just said stay away from the lab, can he? Yeah, he can't, it seems. Hmm, who's that? Um, that must be my father. Oh, Mr. Kuricho's back. Hey, that's cool to see. It's been a while since we've seen Mr. Kuricho. It's all the way back from Yakushima, and it is indeed him. Cool. Hey, long time to see, bud, honestly. Um, we've been waiting for you. Yeah, we have. Alright, I didn't know we were seeing him today, but that's so cool. Hmm, so it's over at last, huh? Yeah, it is, apparently. Um, yes. <laughs> I would say with a question mark, honestly. Huh, congratulations, everyone. You've done well. There are no words to express my gratitude. Though you will never receive the recognition you deserve, it is undoubtedly a monumental achievement. True? Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, tell you, um, to you, I owe it special thanks for letting us your power until the very end. <laughs> um, oh, it's no big deal. <laughs> it's all because of her father. That's pretty nice, though, to give her, um, like, an extra special thank you for, like, continuing, um, with helping us out. Even though, like, technically it's his fault that, um, or not his fault, but the grandfather's fault that the father is even dead in the first place for Yukari's father. So, yeah, honestly, yeah, Yukari definitely does indeed, uh, deserve an extra special thank you for staying around after all that. Because she could have easily just left, honestly. Um... Twelve shadows that were, uh, caused, uh, all of you, all the troubles have been destroyed. Thanks to your efforts. Um, you didn't bear the burden any longer. You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. Um, the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad will be dissolved as of midnight tonight. Oh, okay. No longer must you put your lives on the line of battle. Tomorrow you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Hmm, if you say so. But, yeah, I still don't think it's over. I just can't get it out of my mind that there's still more. Because there's still unanswered questions everywhere. Um, is something the matter? Yeah, I feel like there's still more. And I think Akihiko does too, because he definitely seems like he's still on edge a little bit. Based on him saying, oh, it's nothing. Yeah, I, 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 I'm still on edge too, honestly. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing indeed. Hmm. And I know we're not done with Tartarus. That's also the another part. Um, alright everyone, it's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits you. There's no need to hold back. Eat as much as you'd like. Oh, cool. <laughs> James Bay's gonna eat the whole plate honestly at this point, honestly, because he's been waiting all day. Um, sweet. I've been waiting for you to say that. And there he goes. And Koromaru too. <laughs> Um, honestly, it makes sense that Koromaru would run off as soon as um, he could get some food as well. Because dogs definitely do like to eat off your plate, let's be honest. I can't get my dogs to not try and eat my food, honestly. Because they jump up on my la um, on like the side of my lap and like try and beg for food, but they'll never- Honestly, they, they do get a little bit, but they don't get anything like, um, I know they can't eat, of course. But yeah, they're not going to get like the, the hamburger on my uh, plate, let's be honest. Because they definitely tried to do that. Huh. A mysterious voice rings in your head. And with that, the full arcana rank up as well. Which, we're only on rank 7, so... What's going on with that? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou short a blessing when thou choose to create a persona of the full arcana. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. The C social link has reached level 7. Your power to create personas of this full arcana has grown as well. Okay. And honestly, we'll take it whatever we can get. We also have the character kind of stuck in animation on the side of the screen, but I didn't want to mention it. But, hmm, just like that. So, now what do we do? Um, listen up everyone. I have a pic- I have an idea. How about uh, we all take a picture? That sounds cool. Yeah, let's do, do like a group picture. Um, actually, I tried to take one last night. 
Oh, and I forgot, it wouldn't work during the dark hour. Yeah, you need a special camera for the dark hour. Anything that's, um, kind of like Kurijo's bike, basically, uh, Mitsuru's bike. Yeah, you definitely need something that has the same powers as that bike. Uh, you mean you brought a, uh, brought a camera with you in battle? Well, he didn't fight, so he's perfectly fine. Um, well, it was our last battle, after all. True-ish, honestly? It's, they still don't know that, but... Yeah, if you really want to say it, I, I just don't think it's over. Um, hey, could you take our picture? Yeah, I guess. Looks like they those two don't talk. <laughs> I feel like it's such a tourist. <laughs> I guess that would make sense. Um, but I have to admit, I kind of want to take a picture too. Yeah, picture sounds kind of fun, honestly. Um, oh wait, uh, Ikasuki san and Aegis aren't right here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. Um, alright everyone, get together. Okay, yeah, of course. That sounds like, like a lot of fun, honestly. Yeah, I don't mind taking a quick picture. So we'll take like a group picture for, uh, before everything's over. That's interesting. Um, is everyone ready? Yeah, I think so. Um, you bet. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. Uh, knock it off. And it looks like even Mr. Kurijo gets to join in. Um, ah. Uh. <laughs> Come on, quit fooling around, Junpei. Ah, uh, hey, knock it off, will ya? Okay, you guys probably saw a different uh, cutscene than I did, because of the fact that I don't know why um, my cutscene was a lot different. I'll show both, so you'll see the one I saw, but you'll also see um, probably the original cutscene for that, because, yeah, that was definitely not the right one, to be honest. But I would think that would happen after the whole picture, because what I saw is um, everyone sitting around the table... And, um, then Yukari and Fuka, like, started talking, and then it basically goes into this right here. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was actually supposed to be us taking a picture, and I didn't get to see that. So, honestly, um, you guys will, because I'll add that post, but that's interesting. Um, hey, how come nobody's eating? Uh, don't tell me you're all ready, all full already. Um, honestly, there's no food left at this point. There's, like, what is that, like... Let's see, I'm going to count real quick. 6, 12, okay, so yeah, basically only like 18 pieces of sushi left, so yeah, honestly, it's pretty, it makes sense that everyone would be full at this point, unless, you know, <laughs> Jun, oh wait, no, Junpei has some on his plate too, so technically it's more than that, so yeah, definitely makes sense that, like, you know, everyone's going to be full, because those were full platters. <laughs> um, are you kidding? I'm stopped. Well, he kind of did wait, like, a whole day to eat. <laughs> he did say that. Um, me too. I could eat another bite. Hmm. Okay. Um, how about you, senpai? Yeah, how about you, Akiko? Um, I'm good for now. Um, alright. The rest is for you, Junpei, it looks like. Unless you want to give some to Koromaru. It looks like he wants some. Um, oh, you hungry boy? Come on, give him some. I think it's fair. Koru is basically a talking dog at this point. I think that's different at this point. Uh, don't give the dog raw fish. You'll make him sick. I don't think that's the case. Dogs eat raw things all the time. <laughs> they even eat bugs. Let's be honest. I don't think it really matters at that point. Poor, poor Koru, honestly. Little white Shiba, Shiba not getting to join us in the festivities when the thing actually literally talks based on all the interactions with Aegis and Koru. I definitely feel bad for that, honestly. Um, I wonder what's uh, taking those two so long. Yeah, Shuji and Aegis are still not here. That is interesting. And we still don't know how, you know, Shuji actually joined the team. Because Mitsuru said that, um... He didn't scout her out, so I still wonder how Shuji actually ended up joining Seas. Because we still have yet to learn that, honestly. Um, it's almost midnight. Hmm. And, you know, he doesn't have a persona either, based on, like, everything we've seen. So, I still do wonder how he remembers what happens in the Dark Hour, honestly. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And, like I thought... The Dark Hour didn't disappear right after the last Arcana, 
And that would definitely prove that the Dark Hour is still around, because it would have disappeared almost immediately. And um, the hell? Hmm. And just like that, the Dark Hour is still proving to be here very, very, um, very, very strong indeed, because, yeah, the Coffins are still around. Um, I thought we ended the Dark Hour. Yeah, we definitely did think that, but there was no proof that that would be the end. Who even, t who even told us that? I think, was it Yukari's father that said that on the tape? I think? So, yeah, weird. Yeah, I didn't feel like that would be the end. Um, Senpai, what's going on? Yeah, what is going on? Um, I don't know. Hmm, so what do we do now? Um, apparently I was right to have my doubts. Good on you, Akihiko. Honestly, same. Um, yeah, something didn't feel right. Um, hmm. Uh, no way. Aw, Junpei really hoped it was over. I, I thought you liked playing hero, though. Um, hey, do you hear that? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh. The bell's tolling on top of... Oh, yeah, it's a giant clock tower, isn't it? So, the bell in the Tartarus is going off. That's kind of creepy. Whom the bell tolls. And, honestly, whenever you hear a bell toll, in, like, end times kind of ways, it means the end of the world is happening. That's, uh, very ominous, honestly. Um, it sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Well, it's definitely the Tartarus, since I remember there being a giant clock on it. And on the inside, it looks like a giant clock as well. Um, where's Ikitsuki? Yeah, where is he? Um, well, one is it late. He got Aegis with him, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Um, hmm. Yeah, he definitely does. Why does Mitsuru seem worried about that? Um, Mitsuru? Hmm? What's going on? Um, everyone prepare for battle. Hmm? Why? Um, we're heading for the Tartarus. Oh, okay. Um, to do what? Yeah, to do what exactly? Go inside and just get to the top, I guess? That'd be interesting to head there right now. Um, I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. See, even she thought that, because it, it would make sense, honestly. We have to find out what's going on. True. We definitely do. Hmm. Kind of scared, in a way. Honestly, what are we even going to find? Yeah, there's the clock I was telling you guys about right above the door. Oh, Aegis and Shuji. Huh? Why are they here? Um, Igetsuki-san. And Aegis? Um, Aegis, why are you here? Aegis? That's a new picture. She looks like she's not even reacting anymore. Hmm, she is here merely to fulfill her role as a weapon. A uh, weapon? Um, huh? What is that supposed to mean? Um, Igetsuki-san, uh, what's this all about? Yeah, what is this all about? Uh, you said the Dark Owl and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we fought so hard, but now... It's still around, and he completely lied then. Or, he just said no, but... He said something about he just being a weapon, so... I think he lied to us. Um, what's your intention? Yeah, what is your intention? Um, it was all a lie, wasn't it? You knew from the beginning that the Dark Hour wouldn't disappear. Apparently so. Hmm, excellent deduction, Miss Mitsuru. Unfortunately, your realization has come a little too late. Too late? Um, no. Uh, you tricked us. Oh, so Shuji was the real culprit this entire time. That's very interesting. I didn't actually think he was a bad guy, I just thought he had a little bit more, like, secrets that we still have yet to learn about him. And he was still, like, kind of, like, getting ready to tell us a little bit more. But, it's interesting. He was the last guy I thought was gonna be evil. Huh. Interesting. Everything is as planned. It is not unexpected that the Dark Hour in Tartarus remain. In fact, I never intended for you to rid the world of them in the first place. Quite the opposite, really. 
The opposite? Oh. Um, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? The twelve shadows were part of parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And that was accomplished in no small part, thanks to your efforts. Soon death the Almighty shall rise and bring forth the fall. Oh, like Pharaohs was saying, the fall. Interesting. So Shuji is even saying the same thing as Pharaohs is. Hmm. So, is Pharaohs connected to Shuji then? Maybe. Maybe? Honestly, I don't know. Interesting though. Um, death? Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about, bud? Since only we only know about the fall through Pharaohs. But he seems to know a lot more about that. Hmm. The end of the world. All shall come and free this world from despair. The death of everything, but also the beginning. The beginning? Huh? Um, what is he saying? Is he out of his mind? Yeah, definitely seems that way. Ten years ago, I too was a scientist for the project we've spoken of. The experiment went awry, but that is not why the Dark Owl and Tartarus were born. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's powers, just as the experiment was destined to do. Hmm. Dest designed to do. So that's what it was for? That is why your grandfather gathered so many shadows to bring about the fall. Oh, so Miss, so the grandfather Kurijo knew that was the, that was going to happen. Why though? Why would you want to bring upon the fall of the world? Um, that can't be. Well, it definitely seems to be the case. Hmm. People have fire filled the world yet turned it into a void. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by the Prince. And once the Prince has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The man who tried it ten years ago failed, but I will not. I shall succeed. Huh? Um, man, he's totally lost it. True. Very, very true. I apologize for deceiving you, but this was for your own sake as well. If you follow me for just a little while longer, you too will find salvation. Salvation? Um, you call it salvation? That's far from salvation. That's actually more, uh, honestly, the scariest thing I could possibly think about. So, bringing upon the end of the world. Why would you want to do that at all? And would you even be able to control that world if you were to be bring the end to it? But yeah, in the case of Adachi from Persona 4, it made more sense because he had the power of the gods behind him after the end of the world ended up, like, would have happened. So, yeah, how would Ikitsuki, like, control that? Or unless he just literally just wants to bring the end of the world and no life whatsoever is around anymore. Which is even scarier than the thought of the one that would have happened in, in Persona 4, so... Yeah, what are you trying to do, Shuji? Um, I have a question for you. What is that? Hmm, yes. Um, in that video from my father, he said to defeat the shadows... Was that the why too? Apparently so. Ah, oh, he did recall that himself. Of course, I had to make some modifications. Oh, so it's been tampered with. So that's not exactly what Mr. Um, what Yukari's um, father even said. I, I don't remember his name because it didn't really... Well, I guess you could say Mr. Takaba, I guess you can say. But I don't actually remember what the father's name was other than that. But... Hmm, so that wasn't really his final words. Um, you doctored it. Apparently so. I corrected it. Why? Your father was a superb scientist. He may not have known it, but I truly respected him. While others focused on Shadow's abilities, he explored much more important things. But unfortunately, he could not comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. 
what kind of potential are you getting from that? There is no potential. The world ends and nothing happens. There's no potential in that. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> You're gonna walk around the empty void of the world? There's no one's gonna be around anymore. It's literally no potential there. Why? Um, what? Um, he bought that recording at the expense of his life. Hmm, it would seem so. But it did not prove rather- it did prove rather useful. So I'm sure he's happy. No, I don't think so. Um, so you were behind it all. You used both me and my father. Yeah, apparently so. Hmm, used is such an ugly word. It was for the sake of the world, so how could it be wrong? I... Huh? Um, our role is to correct the mistakes of, our, of the past, and we intend to do just that. True. Okay, let's get rid of Shuji. <laughs> He's too crazy. He's an actual nutcase. He needs to go to the insane asylum. Um, hey, wait. No, we gotta get rid of this dude. There's no way we can allow him to do whatever he's gonna want to do. Hmm, how disappointing. I had hoped you would see the light, but you are just children after all. I suppose it can't be helped. Aegis. The time has come for you to fulfill your role. Capture them and prepare them to be sacrificed. Wait, what? No, 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 please no. I don't want to become sacrifice. Huh? Oh, he's got a remote to control Aegis as well. Interesting. Understood. Uh-oh. And we're done for, aren't we? Okay, then, he was not kidding. He was actually trying to sacrifice us. Huh. Okay, then. And it looks like Mr. Kurijo is also captured as well, from Aegis. Gekko Khan High School Observatory Rooftop. So, now what? It doesn't look like we can just get off from this, so... Because it looks like we're actually strapped up to it. Not via, like, um, our wrists, like, you know, in the... Like, the... Christian Bible kind of thing. It's more of like it looks by the arms like there's like little like clamps holding us down to it and also some kind of like barbed wire thing looking at from like where Ken is kind of sitting. But it's interesting. Um, what's going on here? Yeah, what is going on here? Um, what the hell? Yeah, what is going on? Um, what is this? Um, huh. this does not seem good. Father? And there we go. So we were passed out during that. Interesting. Oh, uh, Yuki san what is the matter with this? Yeah, what is the matter indeed? It is just as it appears. They are to be sacrifices, harbingers of the fall. The arrangements are complete. The prophecy shall be fulfilled. Um, what? Um, you son of a bee. I'm gonna rip your head off. <laughs> Junpei. <laughs> of all things for Junpei to say. <laughs> I know it's not that funny, but it's just funny to see Junpei acting all angry and actually think he's going to be able to fight off uh, against um, someone else like that. Because I we, we couldn't even take on Aegis by ourselves. So I don't think <laughs> Junpei can do anything about Chuji right now. Um... Huh, what do we do? You, you traitor! Are you insane? Hmm, of course not. You know your father was an unlucky man. Even you, his son, after all this time, do not understand his vision. Uh, my father is wrong. Death is a deliverance. This is not an ideology anyone should ever embrace. True. Fool. You are but a nuisance now, Aegis. Uh oh Please don't hurt him. Um, wait, please. Aegis, no. Please, Aegis. But Aegis being controlled, so I don't think we're gonna stop that. And based on what we know, Aegis has finger guns, so... Yeah, I don't think he's gonna feel too good if she shoots. Hmm. 
What are you doing, Aegis? I am. Oh, looks like she's kind of fighting back against her circuitry a little bit. Hmm. Ten years. I've wasted ten long years. I'm not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. I guess we will end this. Execute the sacrifices now. Yes! Damn it, snap out of it! Father. Damn it, you! You defective machine! I'll do it myself! I can't! No! I'm sorry. Only its destruction can bring about its salvation. And then, at long last, I will rule over the new world. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> And just like that, Shuji is now gone, I think? I don't think he would have survived that. So yeah, he was definitely trying to become the ruler of a new world. Interesting. He's definitely lost a couple um, screws, let's be honest. But, hmm. At least Koru is there to save us at the end of the day. <laughs> Shuji ended up forgetting about Koromaru, and we ended up um, living because of that. That's good on you, good boy. <laughs> very, very good boy, Koromaru. Because, yeah, it was all because of Aegis and Koro that we even survived that encounter. Huh. So, what now? Um, how did it come to this? And what's going on with Mithra's father now? Because he didn't look like he was doing too hot during the end of that. You okay, bud? Um, one time my father made a promise. He swore that he would detone for endangering our generation, even if it cost him his life. Oh. Oh. He's... Ah, oh, shit. Not again. Not again. <laughs> Why? This is... Okay. Um, not only did we just lose Shuji, which, honestly, I don't really feel as bad about, since now we know that he was evil... But Mitsuru's father was actually a really good man, and he wanted us to know everything about the Kurijo group, and he fully disclosed everything, and he wanted to be a good guy as much as he possibly could, and he wanted to undo everything his father did before him, and now it seems like Mr. Kurijo is now dead, leaving three people in our story to completely, that were like, people we cared about gone just like that but wow huh just like shinji too through a gunshot wound uh, but i wanted him to live i became a persona user to protect him oh poor mitsuru everyone was at a loss for words yeah that's that cuts deep honestly three people three um I'm not even used to people dying in Persona games, so that's really depressing. All you can do is rest. 
so he decided to return to the dorm and sleep. Okay, 2.11.5. After everything that's happened, we have another meeting. And now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do now that Shuji's gone. Um, the chairman's room has been cleared out. Yeah, it has. Huh, well, that is no surprise. It's your room what he did. Yeah, he doesn't deserve his chairman room anymore. Um, I just can't believe all this. Same, honestly. Um, it's in the papers, too. A sudden death of Kirijo Group CEO. They blame it on illness, though. These... What is with them doctoring what actually happened? Because that's not how it happened. He has... He gets a gunshot wound in his stomach. Like, come on. How can you say that's illness? Uh, yeah, it's never the truth. Yeah, far from it. Um, it's your senpai's not here, huh? Yeah, not here at all. Yeah, she's an only child, so there's a lot of matters to be settled, including the funeral and the family business. I'm sure she'll be busy for at least a week. Hmm, so what do we do now? Now that we don't technically have our real leader anymore. Even though I'm the battle leader, but honestly, Mitsuru was the full leader, and then the chairman was like a secondary one in a way. Um, it sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. Yeah, I hope she'll be okay as well. She just lost her father as of everything. Um, so what are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Yeah, what do we do? Um, what'll happen to Chidori? Yeah, what will happen to Chidori? Since Strega did say something weird about, um, if the Dark Hour is destroyed, that something could happen to them. Uh, no word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. And the fact that the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of shock. Hmm, I guess. I hope Aegis is alright. Yeah, same. Um, what the hell? Um, am I supposed to wait for them to get their act together? I guess so. Uh, Mitsuru is meeting with the board of directors. That might explain the delay. True. Um, I see. But still, what are we gonna do? We have no idea how to rid the Dark Hour. Um, get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know what we're fighting against. We? Yeah, we really don't. Uh, what, uh, what was that, um, what he said about the fall? Um, what would have happened if he'd been sacrificed? Yeah, what would have happened? He's, he was missing one of us, too. I don't think even if he sacrificed us, anything would happen, because he didn't have Koromaru. And Aegis is definitely a part of the group, too, so wouldn't he have to sacrifice Aegis and Koromaru as well in order for the fall to actually happen? Because... You would need the whole C's group, right? Um, there are so many unanswered questions. Yeah, there are. A lot of them. That's why I didn't think the game was over. Just that as well. But I knew the Tartarus was still uncompleted. But we still had so many questions left unanswered. And now we know that Shuji is evil, and now we know why he is. But we thought he was a good guy the entire time, so at least that guy answered. Um, yeah, but standing around here won't solve anything, right? True. Uh, true. But there is one thing we do know. Tartarus is still around and there's a bunch of shadows inside it. We should train so we are ready for whatever it is we might have to face. True. Very true, actually. Hmm. So, what now? Just prepare for the Dark Hour again and make sure we can figure out what's going on with the Tartarus? Um, Mikari Chan. And yeah, we still have two blocks of the Tartarus left, so we still have quite a bit of that to go through. Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's hard drive. Most of it was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. I thought you might like to see it. Oh, really? So, more about Mr. Takaba? Interesting, maybe it's like, closer to the real message that would have been, like, left for Yukari. Um, that's Fu- thanks, Fuka. I'll watch it later. Okay. Interesting. Wonder when we'll be able to watch that. Okay, so this will be the final thing we do for today. I just wanted to make sure that we were all done for everything that's happened for the full moon operation. And it seems like this will be the final thing that will end off this full moon operation completely. So, with that, let's see what's going on here, since I actually had to put my character to go to his dorm room in order for this to actually start up. So, let's see what's going on here. I pray that this recording reaches a safe hands. Okay. Um, that video. 
So apparently this is going to be the closest to the real reenactment of what actually happened during this, from what Fuka could do, since she tried to recreate it as much as possible. Um, my employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should have never been even conceived. That's why I had to interrupt it. However, in doing so, I set it free of a number of shadows that are certain to torment the future generations. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. Hmm, interesting. Um, please listen carefully. I cannot stress this enough. You must not hunt the shadows. That have disappeared first. Okay, so even he said we shouldn't. Um, huh? This price? Um, I wasn't able to stop this madness. He won't listen no matter what. I say, he's under the devil's spell. Um, now the shadows are trying to eat one another. But if they're reunited, then we are all doomed. Um, I'll say this once more. Leave the shadows be. Interesting. So just let the shadows do what they're doing. Because if you do mess around with them, you'll bring along the actual end of the world. So we technically didn't do anything good. So technically, in a way, Strago was telling the truth. Don't mess with the shadows. But they could have just told us that and what would actually happen. But they never really told us anything. Um, this is the original video before Ikitsuki changed it. Dad tried to stop the experiments. Apparently so. Um, there's not much hope for me now. Um, I have just one favor to ask. Um, uh, whoever finds us, please give my daughter Yukari this message. Oh. Um, I know I promised I'll be home soon, and I'm sorry to break the, that promise. But I want you to know, Daddy was the happiest man on Earth when he was with you. Um, I love you, Yukari. Please take care of yourself. Aw, that's sweet. Aw, that's exactly what Yukari needed to hear after everything that happened with that. Um, Dad? What was that? What was that? All I heard was glass break and then the like camera freaked out in the in the recording. Um Wow, okay then. Um Dad? Um Dad Aw And I guess that proves that he was dead. Cause uh, we kinda had a feeling he was more than likely no longer around. And I think that it was confirmed, um because Yukari said she said he was dead, and I'm pretty sure maybe she got like some kind of letter. But huh. Interesting. I was thinking they maybe just never recovered his body or something, but honestly, I think that would kind of prove it, because I think she just saw it happen on that recording. Hmm. Um, I know one thing for sure now. I was right to believe in him. Yeah, you were. But you want to go and say sorry to your mother for being, you know, angry at her? Because, yeah, she definitely still needs to do that. Because based on our social link with her, she still needs to do that. Um, are you listening, Dad? I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. The resolution in Yukari's heart has awakened a new persona. Oh. So Lo is finally going to evolve into its next form. Ooh. Interesting. It's like a flying minotaur. That's cool. Lo has given rise to Isis. Okay. Interesting. So instead of it actually being its own persona where you can actually make it, it's actually her spe like specific personal persona. That's interesting. I was surprised I didn't keep that form of it because that looks cool. Um, I'll fight for what I believe in. That's what you would have wanted, right, Dad? Probably so. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, with that being said, that will be today's um, end for today's episode. Because I wanted to finish off the day for 11.5, because I felt like there was still a little bit more, and I was right. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. Um, we just said goodbye to Mr. Kurijo, Shuji, and maybe even Strega. I still think they're around, but... Who honestly knows? But, with that being said, in the next episode we won't be getting into the Tartarus yet since the Tartarus is still kind of locked off. So we'll do the Tartarus after the next episode. And then apparently there's some kind of big event coming up. I don't know what it was. I forgot what it was, but it did say it somewhere um, in the calendar. I believe it's Kyoto, I think it is. 
is based on uh, what it kind of says. It says it's like a school trip, and I did look into what it was, because I wanted to kind of figure out what the next school trip would be, and it looks like we're going to some kind of, like, um, really cool, like, town of some sort with um, the entire school, which sounds really cool. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. And, honestly, I think the next episode will probably be continuing on some free time situations. Maybe there will be something else. I heard that I was supposed to do something from the friend that has warned me about, like, things that I should know about just in case. Because, um, he warned me about Maiko's final rank. And he also warned me about something that I need to do once we get to 11-6. Because apparently there's conversations that have been added to um, FES and Portable that weren't in the original game. And if you talk to Junpei on certain days, you'll get some new dialogue that wasn't in the original game. So we'll be doing that as well in the next one. So definitely something I'm interested in. Um, I think I have the days written down somewhere. I don't have them on me right now. But one day is 11-6. I think one is 11-12. 11.14, and then 11.22, apparently. And then you have to talk to Junpei all of those days in order to get some kind of special event to happen later in the game or something like that. So, definitely interesting. I don't know what it's going to be about, but it is definitely interesting. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And in the next one, it looks like the Tartarus is still very much around and uh, kicking. So, honestly... The fall is very, um, is starting to make its, um, way to us. And what will we be able to do in order to actually stop the fall from actually happening? Because we've only sped up the process at this point. So, with that, thank y'all for watching, have a wonderful rest of day, and peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.